Hello, hello, and welcome to my show. Uh, this is Super Tuesday. However, uh, today I will be talking about the market watch that came out, and uh, we will go over some numbers and what's happening in the GTA. Um, I think things are improving just a bit, and I would love to uh, go over the numbers with you. So hang on tight, and I'm going to show you this on the screen. So here we go. The report that just came out a couple of days ago. You've seen this before. Market Watch for February 2023. Uh, the numbers to look for are the one on the right side. Uh, this is going to be for all of GTA. And in the middle, there is a bit more uh, specific numbers for either Toronto or the suburbs. And then the, the type of properties, detached, semis, townhouse, etc. Um, when we look at the on the right side, we are comparing 2022 and 2023. You can see that these numbers are not nice. They're actually ugly. Uh, having said that, we are comparing uh, this year with the peak of the market. And, um, you know, in 2022, we've had the peak happening somewhere between January and um, March, April. So sales are still down. You can see 47% uh, um, down in New listings are down as well. This is one of the reasons why uh, prices are still holding, even though you can see that the average price is down by almost 18%. Uh, prices are still holding nicely for the past few months. And uh, in all reality, there is a bit of a light uh, at the end of the tunnel because uh, we are already starting to see a bit of an increase uh, to the average price. And I'll give you a couple of examples. So here, this area is for all of properties all over the GTA. And here uh, in this section, you'll see the, the separation between Toronto, 416, and the, the rest of the suburbs, 905. Detached homes, semis, towns, and, and condo apartments, uh, again, they're all in the negative comparing with the pick of 2022. Um, I can tell you that uh, I was looking at um, the average price for detached homes in Toronto. Just in Toronto, uh, the price has risen uh, from 1.48 to 1.71 from January. So like uh, on a month over month basis, we actually have an improvement. And, uh, and, and I see that, I see that in the, in the amount of transactions and um, the prices that are being generated uh, through multiple offers. I myself had a, uh, a couple of properties uh, with, with multiple offers and prices went over the asking price uh, with a bit more enthusiasm. In Markham, for example, uh, January's average price was 1.65, and now we are at 1.71 for February for detached homes. So I think that all in all, uh, we could be on the right track um, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the uh, the announcement from the Bank of Canada uh, to where interest rates are going to be. And uh, I think the consensus is that it's going to be either nothing or maybe 25 basis points. Uh, today, um, I can tell you that the, um, you know, the Fed uh, spokesman were, was, were, was actually talking about uh, further tightening in the U.S., which could suggest that we might see that here as well. Um, in any case, uh, I see that uh, we have more offers that come in with conditions for financing, and uh, it's a bit more, uh, I would say, challenging to get mortgages. However, they're done, and uh, and I can tell you that uh, going forward, uh, I know there's not as much optimism as of right now, but I think it will be uh, better uh, probably the maybe the second part of the year as soon as we have a bit more direction on interest rates and market stabilizing. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me, and uh, until next time, so long.